There will be no government-funded rollout as the existing mobile data terminals, or MDTs, reach the end of their lives and fire services face the prospect of replacing them. Panasonic's Toughbook is a strong contender, putting life-saving information at officers' fingertips when the going gets tough. Julie McDonnell joined fire officers as they put Toughbook to the test. In Cambridgeshire, it's the height of summer and crews are on the road. A crop fire is taking the attention of one whilst the other trains in road collision response. The diverse workload of these firefighters and thousands of others like them means they need access to more information than ever to serve their communities successfully. So today, it's a chance to put their latest gadget, the Panasonic Toughbook, through its paces. A rugged portable tablet that's already transforming life on the front line for fire crews across the UK and Europe. So a lot of our role depends on information at the right time and the right place. So from our point of view, it's a massive step forward, whereas before you would have had to have a firefighter or a member of the crew in the cab of the fire engine. Now by being able to demount the information source and take it with us, it means the information can be right there, right on the spot, really improving our operational effectiveness. There are over 8,000 tough books being used by 70 emergency services across the UK. And it's the portability of this particular device that proving a real winner on the front line. Former station commander John Barlow, who has 34 years experience in the service, is watching the tough book in action. He's responsible for modernising the region's frontline communications devices from the old Tetra system to 4G. So what we've decided to do is make an investment, change our whole fleet change all of the existing MDTs for a more mobile device to allow the crews to work more efficiently and smartly. Panasonic always prides itself on listening to the voice of the customer. It's one of our business philosophies. It helps us shape new products. So it really is essential for us to deal with customers on a personal level. We're a global organisation, plus we have global experience, not just UK, but global in the emergency service sector. So we've been performing this sort of uh, installation and de device rollout for 20 plus years so it's a yeah you know, we're a safe pair of hands feedback from training with the device has been good from locating hydrants to supporting crews at road traffic collisions so the crew with the panasonic tough but take it out to the scene of operations type in the type of vehicle that they've got and the, the device tells them where the safety features are on that vehicle an absolutely boon to operations makes life so much simpler and makes the fire the firefighters able to work more effectively in terms of all the conditions that we're working in, we can use it in the sunlight, not a problem. Rain, it's got an IP rating that means we can take it outside with no damage. Dust generated, smoke generated, absolutely rated to the, the highest degree that we could possibly want. Panasonic's Will Holmes is managing the installation of the new Toughbook system here. He's proud of the very personal support he and his team give to their customers. If someone gets in touch with us, it's will help spec the appropriate unit, you know, the the guys who SL's engineers will actually work closely to make sure that the right, you know, hardware actually in the tablet. But then if it's a, a, a situation where it needs a vehicle solution as well, you engage with my team, we'll come out on a consultative basis, which is all part of air service, it's not an extra cost. And we'll sit and work for you the most cost-effective uh, solution for the organisation. Tough books will be rolled out here over the next six months and elsewhere crews already faithful to them are asking to fit not just one but two to their pumps. Within a couple of years it went from it just being a, a computer that no one really paid a lot of attention to to actually if this wasn't functioning they wouldn't take the pump out. So it, it became a key tool in their job and it's great to see the way they engage with it and know that the information on here is actually helping to save lives and improve the, the firefighters' working environment. 